Welcome Capricorn. This will be your June 2019 um, general love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable, so that means it can go vice versa. <clears throat> Cross watchers are welcome. Also, uh, this reading will not resonate with everyone, so if it doesn't fit with your scenario, please don't try to make it fit. It just means that the message was meant for someone else. <clears throat> Sorry, I have like a frog in my throat for most of these videos. I don't know why. What is this? Wow. Well, these just popped out. Um, you have luck on your side and conclusions are within reach. So some of you really needed to hear this message, um, especially since I was meditating on your energy <clears throat> and pre-shuffling. And what I was feeling was you guys are feeling very left out right now, feeling cold and lonely and uh, just kind of isolated right now. I also saw in my mind's eye, I saw someone just sitting in a corner in the dark. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. But um, also as I was pre-shuffling, the Five of Pentacles came out many times. So I don't even know if maybe some of you are dealing, um, you could feel left out from a particular person or your finances. You, something might have hit you suddenly and you feel like you are, you know, in desperate need of help. But, um, oh, two more shuffles? Okay. But I'm feeling a uh, just sense of loneliness right now. Also, I wanted to let you know, um, one, okay, one more. For personal readings, I, I know you guys have all emailed me and shown interest, which I truly appreciate, and I am in the process of working on that right now. Unfortunately, I had a lot of personal issues go on, and so I'm hoping within this next week I get that all out and put it in the description box for you guys. So let's get some Moonology cards with all this new exchange of energy. Let's get you some messages from the universe. Let's see if we can help you guys. I'm feeling kind of sad, you know? Wow, you guys have a lot of messages. <clears throat> okay, first one out. Show the world the real you. So some of you right now may have been hiding, and that's what I really feel, like hiding from the world, hiding from your family, uh, friends, any type of relationship. Just kind of like in her not hermit mode, but you guys just kind of feel the, you're feeling the lack is what I'm hearing, but you're feeling left out, just kind of out in the cold. Then we have uh, time to give rather than to take, and that came with it's time to release the negativity, so a lot of you may be up in your mind. You might have a lot of fears, doubts, and worries about your situation. And we also have bring love into the situation. So if you guys bring, you know, change your thought process and bring more of um, positive thinking and looking at what, is, what the possibilities are and what the future is for you and that the possibilities are really endless for you. If you focus on that, then focusing on the lack you will bring more of that in instead of bringing more lack in. You know, it's all about manifesting our desires. So focus on the good because I'm feeling like right now, and I just heard, I don't know, someone, someone's going to watch this video, I know it, and I just felt it, and they're going to be like, yeah, what is there to be happy about? How can I be positive when this is happening right now? Well, you know what? You know, I agree. It is one of the toughest things in the world. Um, I've been through a lot in my life as well, and I've been to those dark, deep places. And there is always hope with God. There is always hope with the universe. Um, one thing is, they never, God never forsakes you nor abandons you. Okay, 
and I never do this. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> really, I shouldn't, but it's this. All right. I always wear this bracelet uh, for with God, nothing. Sorry. For with God, nothing is impossible. And I know a lot of you guys are going to think that's cheesy, but it is the truth. And the only reason I am alive today is because of that, um, that verse. Okay? But help is here. And yes, you can. It's just a mindset. Okay? I know it seems hopeless. I know it seems like, you know, nothing's ever going to happen. Nothing's ever going to change. But it will trust me and it'll come like that but you have to be in that energy we're like magnet to we're magnets and mirrors to our own energy so whatever we put out there we will get back okay just try to keep that in mind and you know one of the um one of the little tricks that i always used to do because it was difficult for me too um in certain times in my life and i would always fake it till i make it okay the more you, once you start faking it, that you're happy that, yes, these things are coming. I would even speak it out loud. So if you fake it, um, all of a sudden in your mind, one day you wake up and you feel that. And your mind is telling you that. And you, don't, you no longer are focused on the negative or the fears, the doubts, the worries, or thinking that, gosh, why does everyone else's life... Um, why did they always get what they want? Why does everything always work out for them? I don't understand. And I just heard some of you are looking on social media, like Facebook or Instagram, and you're looking at pictures of these people having children and having wonderful lives with their husband, going on vacations, and being able to do whatever they desire. But again, that is focusing on the lack because those are just pictures okay not everything is as it seems is what I just heard so you're not that person you're not in, you don't live their life 24 7 you have no idea what that person goes through on a daily basis okay so let's keep in mind to focus on ourselves and it's just the messages I'm getting. Wow. Why won't you go together? I'm about to lose the deck. I try to push it together. So yeah, you guys are being stubborn. Because this deck is being stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Uh oh. What'd I do? But... <clears throat> You know, you guys are wonderfully and beautifully created the way that you are. And just because things aren't working out for you at the moment doesn't mean that it's not in the process and that the universe, the divine is already working behind the scenes for you. I just heard 1144. So some of you, you may see, be seeing number 1144. Okay, I believe that number, 1144, what is that number, Spirit? Hold on. Okay, look up 1144. So, <clears throat> Spirit just told me that 1144 is um, the divine, the universe working behind the scenes to create your happily ever after. All you have to do is release your fears. That's exactly what we were just talking about. Release your fears and have faith. Okay, last one. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Overall energy is the page of pentacles. Okay? So, yes, changing your perspective, uh, looking at things in a different light, figuring out um, this is even having hope, I heard. Um hope for something new just starting it's like you guys just want something something small I don't care what it is I just want a little something a little spark of hope just thrown my way okay all right 
Let's see, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the month of June 2019? Yeah. Excuse me. You have strength, four of swords, and five of wands. So, where you guys are at right now is you guys really are taking time for yourselves. You, you feel like you are lacking the strength. You are trying really hard to persevere here. You are fighting yourself. You are conflicted. Tell me about the five of wands. Yeah, you just don't... You're conflicted whether to walk away from a certain situation. Person, place, or thing. How about the eight of cups? Yeah, this is really conflicted. So... This is clarifying this. So, yeah, you are conflicted here with either moving moving away from something or staying. You know, like giving up or just hanging in there for the time being. Literally hanging. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I can't help it. I'm an Aquarius. We're a little quirky and eccentric. Okay. Some of the strength card. Yeah, you. some of you are seeking justice in the, in the situation that you're in. You feel like justice needs to be served here. So some of you may feel like, um, you know, something, you were done wrong. Some, some way, somehow, somebody treated you the wrong way or um, maybe possibly caught you off guard is what I'm hearing. You got caught off guard. Not the four of. Yeah, and you're resting because you you just want to heal right now, and you want to focus on, you know, your focus on your dreams too. This is like dreaming. So some of you might even be getting downloads in your dreams. Please do pay attention to that angel number eleven forty four. Um, if you start seeing it more often. Please recognize the thoughts that you're having at that moment so that um, you, you connect it with that number. That way you know what the angels are trying to talk to you about. Okay? Let's see what your person is doing right now in regards to you. What is Capricorn's person doing right now in regards to them? All right. So right now... <clears throat> This person could possibly be missing you, but being very stubborn about it. <clears throat> this person also could be waiting on something here and not, not taking, they're sitting back. They're not taking control of it. So not, they're just staying in control of themselves and their own life. And it's like they're pining, you know, it, it's like they're kind of, gosh. It's kind of a stubborn energy because <clears throat> they're kind of sitting there like, oh, you know, I get what I want anyway, so it'll come to me. Come up the three of cups. They do want to reunite with you and, um, and work with you, but the thing is this person could be enjoying themselves a little bit. Uh, too much <laughs> with a group of people and then <clears throat> they do want to reunite with you though and they do want to work on things but they're just like thinking about it because you have the hermit with the seven of um, pentacles so they really are taking their time pondering some of the seven of pentacles yeah they do still have passion for you and the relationship but they're trying to figure out here, uh, could have to do with money situation too, um, possibly wondering if they have enough money to sus even sustain having a relationship if it does progress to something, some type of commitment because um, this person, you're, for a lot of you, you are dealing with a male. Could be Aries, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo. Um, Aries Sag 
also Virgo. Uh, key players here, though, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, and Libra. This could be, <clears throat> excuse me, this also could be a third party. Now, not for all of you, so please don't freak out. But there could be a third person hidden here. This is, but I am hearing this for a select few, so please don't go, oh my gosh, my person has, is dating someone else. No, it's not for a majority of you. I would say about 10%. And that's not much, considering how many Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus there are. And this is general, so please don't. If it starts resonating a little bit here and it doesn't resonate here, just take take whatever fits with your scenario. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of messages. There's a lot of Capricorns. Come with King of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like they're... They're trying to figure out when is the right time. Or even if... Oh, I just heard if luck is on their side. That is the card we got, guys. The Moonology card. That one that flipped out. I should have kept it out. It was luck is on your side. So, could have been hinting to that. Um, is why we're getting this message here. <clears throat> so, this person is just contemplating. A lot of signs are just contemplating here. Doing a lot of thinking. But I think it's where our transition is with the planets right now. I'm talking about the Emperor, the Emperor, especially for the month of June. Yeah, this person wants to come back. And they want this. They want to build their empire with you. They want the whole, whole shebang. But, you know, we all know what the Ten of Pentacles is. And for those that don't, you know, it's the home life, the family, the house, the dogs, the the kids, the the generations, you know, grandparents coming over, babysitting, and having that life with somebody. But this energy is like really, it's like they're controlling themselves without controlling the situation. And I get the feeling that a lot of you are not speaking to this person at all and haven't been for quite a while. I would say up to seven, could it be even up to seven to ten months, even a year here. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. All right, let's see how this person feels about you. So they feel like you are, you know, very motherly to them, but not in a bad way. You're very nurturing, kind, compassionate. Um, I'm also hearing you help them out, you used to help them out with matters um, of, matters of the heart, um, decisions that needed to be made, but be made the proper way without, you know, just going straight in and, um, doing things without thinking. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're really sad over this. This is, you know, they know now, right now, that, um, you know, this Ten of Cups is reversed. So they want to come in. It's like, you know, I'm seeing they really want to come in and flip this Ten of Cups around. Um, and they're sad that this didn't um, progress into commitment here. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. But how they're feeling, they're, they're really wanting, you know, in their mind, they're really wanting to come shoot in and go, you know, this is, I, I, I want to fix this right now. I can't stand it. But yet, again, there's an energy of um, opposites here. Because although you are their, you know, Nine of Cups, their wish, they are kind of just sit sitting 
um, pretty and happy right now. Like they're content and comfortable where they are at at the moment. So I'm about the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm about the Nine of Cups. And they feel like, yeah, even though they're, this is conflicting energies. It's just like, I think Sagittarius I did. I don't know. You might have a Sagittarius moon or you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or rising or Venus. But, um, you know, this is conflicting energy. It's just like <laughs> they're content sitting there. They want more and more, but they are actually really heartbroken. So it's like they're not, they're wanting to come shoot in, but they are not. And I think the reason is, I think they feel like you, um, Queen of Pentacles here, we have Capricorn energy. That's wonderful. Um, you guys have your own um, cards in here, but um, this is the lovers in reverse, so it's almost like they feel like you won't, you don't think of them that way anymore. You know, they, they're they really heartbroken because they don't know if you feel the same anymore because of what what they've done. And there could have been like arguments in the past and you guys could be really sick of just fighting. Um, I just heard somebody should have agreed to disagree. <clears throat> I don't know if somebody said that, but um, nobody could let bygones be good bygones here. And it just escalated in Somebody got really tired. They just gave up the fight. They just got tired. And um, it seems like they might have just left. Let's see what action this person's going to take in the month of June. Okay, we have High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Eight of... Uh, swords. So, this person is still going to be, it's conflicting energy again, you know. They're going to be, you're not going to hear anything from them um, in the month of June. I'm sorry, unfortunately, and I have to tell you the truth. But, they're going to, it doesn't mean they're not thinking about you. Because, even with the Nine of Swords, they feel trapped. But the reason they feel trapped is because they do want something with you. Yeah, they want to come out with the King of Swords. They want to speak their truth. They want to, you know, do this logically. Exactly. You know, they want to come towards you and, you know, possibly say I'm sorry or, um, you know, let you know that how they really feel. Especially with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, it's um, grounded energy is slow slow but steady but it's grounded and because you know anytime I see in my readings somebody the action or the way the person feels is a knight of pentacles I've always seen it play out that's somebody that's possibly hardly ever gonna give up I mean ever they may take years. I mean, you may wait for years for this person, or you may not even know that this person is pining for you from what I've seen in my years, but they don't give up. They will get to that point where they get what they want or get rejected, but they always make it to the finish line, but it's not at the pace that you want. But with the Knight of Pentacles, they never give up. And um, right now I'm getting that song for you guys. What is that song? I won't give up. I, no, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. No, no, not me. Some, da, 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 will be free. Who is that that sings that? Hold on one second. Because I... I'm hearing in my head, but I don't know who sings it. Sorry, guys. Hang on one second. I think this would help you guys. It's very important.
Who is it? Andy Grammer, okay? Don't give up on me. Okay? Please, guys, go listen to that. Because this is, that's exactly the song I heard that Spirit's wanting to give you, okay? As a sign. So, please go listen to that song, okay? This is where your person is coming from deep down inside, okay? But you may not know it because this person is very trapped right now. Again, conflicting energy. But they're keeping it to themselves. So you're not going to know this, okay? They're trapped in their mind trying to figure out the still... They're not knowing which direction. Their mind is driving them crazy, really. You know, it's like they know they want to offer something to you. They're not sure if you're going to take it, and that's probably why they're in that energy. They Or they're not take it. I'm sorry. Not just take it. They don't know if you even feel that same way about them. Because with the lover's reverse, it's like they don't even know if this connection has been broken for good. But this little fella right here never gives up. Do not underestimate the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of people do, and I have seen the Knight of Pentacles play out time and time again. And over years, <laughs> for some people, and this little guy never gives up. I am telling you this. This guy is the guy that you may thought the relationship was over. And then this guy shows up maybe five years later and comes knocking at your door, sending you a message or calling your phone. And he's like, hey, I made it. I'm here. Guess what? Hi. How have you been? And you're like, what the heck? What are you talking about? I've already been through three more relationships. And I'm, or I'm, I'm getting married. You know, this is the guy in the movies that's like, wait, it's too late. And, and they, they run into the person again. And then the woman is already like engaged. <laughs> and the guy's just like, what? <laughs> Please. I know a lot of people. They don't like the Knight of Pentacles. I think it's the slowest moving night. Yes, it is. Okay. But the only thing that this little fella has is ambition and drive. Okay. This guy perseveres, never stops, never gives up. Every time I see it I in the spread and spirit makes sure not to give it to me unless this person, whoever I'm reading for or whoever I'm you know, for clients and stuff, whoever I'm reading for, this person is wishy-washy or will not come through. Spirit makes sure that when I see this, that's, that I know. Okay. So, we should not underestimate the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on. So, let's see what action they're going to give you in the month of June. You guys are fun. Even though you're in, like, the sad energy... It's like I just want to like, you know, hold you guys and be close to you and just joke around, you know. Okay, what action? So, I better clarify this. How much power? Like the King of Pentacles. The Moon Knight of Pentacles. You want this upside down or this way? Okay. Uh, tell me about the six of pentacles. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't think um, in the month of June, I'm not really seeing you getting much um, communication with this person in the month of June. But the action this person is taking towards you is they're going to be like, ah, you guys really might have a Sag in your chart or might be dealing with a Sag or somebody that has a Sag moon, Sag moon or rising or possible sun. I don't know, but <clears throat> this seems like the other half of the Sag or the other side of it doesn't have to be so if you don't have any of that or not dealing with one that's okay 
It doesn't mean that it is for that, but, um, so this person is going to be <clears throat> kind of like in a, uh, kind of situation. Like they're, <clears throat> excuse me, the action that they're going to take is in their head. They're going to feel like their stability is being shook and shaken to the core. Okay. They're going to feel like you know, that they've missed out. It's going to hit them like all of a sudden, you know, gosh, I totally screwed up. I missed out on this. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I screwed up. Um, they're going to be sit sitting there and they're like, geez, I can't believe I know I can be successful at this. I know I can do this, but I really screwed up and I really made this uh, toxic situation you know, uh, I'm really feeling here an obsession. I'm not sure if you guys have known each other for a while or um, known each other when you were younger. That's why I'm thinking Sag. I'll stop saying Sag because you guys would be like, it's not a Sag. <laughs> but they had the same cards come out. But um, with the moon here, it's like they're very clouded. I mean, they are stuck. They are fearful with the tower and the moon. They're just like, oh my gosh, my feeling. They're overwhelmed with their feelings, and they are trying to get their balance back. In the month of June, and uh, you know, they're just in that mode of like, gosh, now what do I do? I gotta take care of myself. I gotta figure out what I need to do. Um, I need to build myself up again, Sag. I need to build up myself so that then I can have um, I can have what I want. But yeah, this person's just gonna be like, uh, you're not gonna be able to see it. But this person's gonna be freaking out. I mean, <laughs> when I say freaking out, I mean freaking out. And they're gonna be a little like obsessed about it, really. All right, let's see what the outcome is for the month of June between Sag and their person. What is the outcome? Yeah, they're going to be spying on you, guys. Um, again, Page of Swords, Ten of Wands. Um, trying to seek the truth and clarity. You know, it's like... They're just hitting rock bottom. You got two tens here. So yeah, with the world and the sun. I mean, really, this cycle is coming to an end. You know, the cycle's not really fully closed. You know, but they're... Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. But it's like, you know, energy cannot stay stagnant, you know. It has to keep moving and a person can only stay at the tens for so long until it releases, you know, and a new cycle starts. But um, with the sun here, you know, there's definite clarity and um, the outcome is really they might find clarity in spying on you um, because they might get information that they're not too happy about. Oh, see? Bottom of the deck. You know, that's going to stress them out. This person is stressed. Stressed out. Okay? Let's get you guys... So even though you guys are feeling lack, you don't see the other person but they're actually freaking out and at least you guys aren't freaking out you guys are just tired of feeling lonely and tired of feeling like you know left out of the situation and not understanding why but let's get a door from the universe for you guys I let this go too long <laughs> okay what is this what? Alright. Alright. So 
so the universe wants you to have two doors to walk through, okay? This is a reminder to please um, walk through this door in the month of June, okay? First one, destiny. One door closes, another one, I'm sorry. And one door closes, another opens for you to let the plans of destiny unravel true, okay? So there's some truth that you're going to start seeing. At least you will start seeing movement. Okay. Even though the door has closed it. Closed. Closed. Sorry. Even though one door has closed. Okay. Another one opens and is waiting for you. Could be with the same person. Could be with a brand new person. And that new little knight of pentacles is going to show up as soon as you start dating that person. And you are going to be like, what? No. Now you are going to be stuck having to make that decision. Okay. Second one is Jude's song. A reminder for even the most hopeless, hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. That's beautiful. See, you guys, this is where you're at right now, too. You know, um, you feel like everything's hopeless and lost. And... The universe is asking to walk through that door and realize that no, I'm going to walk through that door of hopeless ca uh, hopeless cases and on the other side, it's not. It's not a lost cause. Okay? And it's like justice will be served in your situation because in the end, it looks like to me, you guys are going to be able to choose all of a sudden, there's no more lack. There's too much abundance, and you guys are going to be able to choose what you want. Because I do see new opportunities of relationships and love coming towards your way. So, one last one. 37 minutes already. Oh, my gosh. I was playing around too long. Sorry, guys. You're probably like, I just want the messages. Why are you playing around? Okay. Three messages from the universe to leave you with. Three messages for Capricorn, please. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. All right. Ooh, that one came out fast. All right. Who had this? Some. Well, I can't remember. And sometimes you forget doing so many. Somebody had the wealth with the high priestess. I. I don't know. I want to say Scorpio. I can't remember. Anyways, the message here is, okay, <clears throat> like the, I told the other sign that had this, wealth does not just mean um, money, abundance, okay? It can mean that. It means abundance in love, um, new, a new way of living coming towards you, but in abundance, okay? Something that fulfills you completely to the core, with High Priestess here, you are going to be getting downloads, okay? Please pay attention, especially with that number 1144 we were talking about. All right? Um, you will know it in your intuition, okay? <clears throat> yes, this has ended, okay? But there is possibilities of rebirth here with the death card, okay? Especially with the door. So with death and wealth, always it's rebirth, okay?